Hello friends, today we are going to discuss electrical engineering opportunities and the status of job market for electrical engineers in the US. Let us start by painting a picture of the current job market for electrical engineers in the US. As you are probably aware of the fact that electrical engineering is arguably the most diverse of the four fundamental engineering disciplines, namely civil, mechanical, chemical, and electrical. Within electrical engineering, you have telecommunications, you have computer systems, you have electronics, you have power systems. You can also include software engineering as part of electrical engineering, electrical and biomedical, photonics. There are tons and tons of overlaps of electrical engineering with several other disciplines. In this video, however, we are going to primarily focus on power systems engineering. Out of all the electrical engineering branches that I just mentioned, power systems has always been considered to be the slowest and the most conservative discipline within electrical engineering. But that perception is being challenged and it's changing very rapidly because of renewable energy, electrical vehicles, battery storage system, cyber security, and the importance of electricity to the modern way of life. Although there are several emerging trends and technologies that are shaping electrical engineering such as AI, electrical vehicles, Internet of Things, I am going to focus on the renewable sector because renewable sector is having an oversized influence and impact on job opportunities for power systems engineers. Job opportunities for electrical engineers exist pretty much everywhere, whether you're talking about municipalities, whether you're talking about private sector or public sector, utilities, resources, mining and metals, design engineering from consulting, MEPs, oil and gas, aviation, building and facilities maintenance, transmission, generation, distribution. So all of these mature industries have already been keeping electrical engineers occupied and in demand. On top of this, we have the arrival of renewable sector, which is drawing a lot of talent from these industries. Electrical engineers working in utilities are in demand at renewable sector. Electrical engineers who have field experience, whether that's in the resources industry, whether that is in the oil and gas industry, mining or metal, they are being attracted by the renewable sector. Engineers who have knowledge of codes and standards, design engineering, startup, commissioning are required by the renewable industry. And it is reaching a point where even non-electrical engineers are making a move into renewable sector and doing a lot of things that typically electrical engineers would do in the past. And I myself, as an instructor, I run FE Electrical and Computer Exam Preparation Program as well as the FE Power Exam Preparation Program. Typically, you would need to clear both of these exams in order to become a licensed professional engineer in the US. And what I've noticed is that more and more mechanical, civil, and non-electrical engineers are actually leaning towards power systems engineering. I have students in my P Power program with mechanical background. I have students in my P Electrical program with software or computers background. And the main reason for this is the fact that the renewable sector in specific and electrical engineering in general is offering a lot of opportunities for these engineers. And then there's a trickle down effect. When the renewable sector attracts electrical engineers from utilities, resources, mining, oil and gas, municipalities, building facilities, manufacturing, then that basically creates a vacuum in all of these industries. And that also has to be filled. Now, the other reason that is driving the demand for electrical engineers is baby boomers because they are exiting the workforce in record numbers. Now, this phenomenon is actually very pronounced in utilities. Utilities tend to hire very slowly. Typically, they offer jobs for life. So a lot of folks who entered into the utilities in 1980s and 1990s are basically eligible for retirement. And some of the utilities in North America are actually in a panic mode because with the exodus of all of these baby boomers, there are hard skills that are leaving their doors. And some of them are actually in a scramble mode because they want the knowledge to be transferred over. And electrical engineering, like most of the other fundamental engineering, is basically a skill that has to be learned over time. You need to be in the right place at the right time, working on the right projects, getting the right experience in order to develop the skills that are in demand. And that's why you see so many utilities having these rotational programs for their new graduates, where they try and hire new electrical engineering graduates and put them through rotations in different departments over a period of one to sometimes up to three years 
to give them a wide variety of exposure so that they can level up their skills. There are several other undercurrents in the job market, for instance, electrical vehicles. This is an industry that was not known to hire in huge numbers in the past. Now, they also want a share of electrical engineers. Then you have emerging specializations, for instance, cybersecurity for power system grid. They also require electrical engineers. So all in all, it's a good time to be an electrical engineer. If you're in high school right now, or if you've chosen electrical engineering already in the college, then in my opinion, you've made a good decision. And if you already have some experience under the belt, then keep an eye open for different types of skill sets that are being demanded by the employers. And you should consciously guide your career in that direction and accumulate those hard skills. For those of you who are just about to graduate or have recently graduated, one of the best things that you can do for your career in the United States as a technical electrical engineer is to get your EID certificate. And to do that, you need to pass the FE Electrical and Computer Exam. As mentioned earlier, I run popular programs for FE Electrical and Computer Exam. I offer both the on-demand, which is basically a self-study program, as well as live training programs. By passing FE Electrical and Computer Exam, you can get EIT certificate, which is issued by your state board. It is not a diploma or degree by a university. It is issued by the state and carries a lot of weightage. It signals to the employers that you're serious about your career and you want to go all the way and become a licensed professional engineer. Now, most of the states have decoupled the experience requirements, which basically means that even without four or five years of experience, you can go ahead and take the next exam, which is the PE Power exam. For the PE Power exam as well, I've authored several books, just like for that electrical and computer exam. And I run the on-demand program, which is a self-study course. And I also run live training program. You just have to accumulate four years of progressive technical experience in order to become a licensed professional engineer while meeting some other requirements such as references, background checks, credential evaluation, and so on. And eventually, once you become a PE, it will open tons and tons of opportunities for you. In all of the industries that I mentioned, whether it's utilities, resources, mining and metals, infrastructure, oil and gas, renewable, EVs, battery storage, transmission, distribution, generation, municipalities. If you do a quick search on electrical engineering job opportunities in the US on Google and go to any of the job search engines, you will find that pretty much every other employer is seeking an electrical PE. So when you combine electrical engineering degree with skills that are in demand and the credentials that are respected and recognized in the industry, you set yourself up for immensely successful career in a future where a lot of high paying jobs are actually under pressure because of technologies such as artificial intelligence. But for the foreseeable future, electrical engineering does appear to be immune to these technologies. Why? Because we are at the forefront of technological development, which is going to shape our future. We have to come up with answers to very difficult questions, such as climate change, such as sustainable use of energy, such as energy conservation, improving efficiency of our utilization, and creating a future that is full of potential. If you like this video, then please don't forget to subscribe this channel. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section of this video below. You can find tons of stories of my FE Electrical and P Power students over here. And if you want to learn more about preparation of these exams, then click here to learn more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video.